All right, so we got all these braces out. This one I'm just leaving in place for the drive shaft hoop to uh, to sit there, but it's it's all unbolted. So it's clear all the way back. All these are unbolted. So this is why you mark where everything's at because there's already Swiss cheese all over this frame. So like these holes don't get used. These holes don't get used. So if you spray an outline of everything that's, that goes on the truck, when you move everything, now you know exactly which holes were the ones you need. And you're not trying to remark these ones or remark all of this crap or all these little ones, little, I mean, just little holes that don't matter. They can just stay, who cares, all right? But these are the ones that are important and go to something in particular. So uh, anyways, I've got, uh, I've got everything disconnected. Um, so, so this thing is ready to move forward. Uh, we will see how that goes. I'll uh, cage the brakes and then, uh, oh, wow. Ooh. Well, that's going easier than I hoped it, than I thought it would. I got all that just disconnected. We'll let that hang free and uh, we'll see what it's gonna take to move this bitch forward. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of weight. So we'll see what happens, I guess. I thought I was gonna fight the ever living crap out of this. Which I might a little bit more once I get up to those cross members up there, but when literally push it and this cross member slides with it. one push it up a little bit and we're already we're already four feet up more inches and it's there. 
see this all. Yeah, this is all just extra. Crazy. Free hour tonight before I need to go in. These are all the bolts that came out of, uh, there's about, I don't know, 11 teen bolts there. Came out of the entire frame section, all the cross members, all of everything. So um, I just wanted to see how hard it was gonna be to move this axle forward. And honestly, it was, man, I thought I was gonna fight the crap out of it. I really did. So I caged that brake down there but then I couldn't get this one out. Um, beating the crap out of it, beating the crap out of it, beating the crap out of it, couldn't get it out. So I couldn't cage this brake. Well, I still had all the air lines hooked up. I didn't disconnect any of the air lines. So I thought, well, hell, I'll just chalk the wheels and then uh, hit the parking brake on the truck and see if it releases, and it did. So um, that, uh, that got everything free and um, basically everything just slid nice and easy, you know, got, uh oh, cross members and everything are, stand by, cross members and everything are where they need to be, and then, uh, the bags were all deflated, obviously, so these were hanging way down low, um, which was fine, but then I wanted to get these kind of up where they needed to be just to see where that pinion ended up, look at that. I mean, we are an inch away, man, inch and a half. We're close. Uh, I don't have any of the holes drilled. I just wanted to uh, get this thing placed. In fact, um, I wanted to see if I could just throw one bolt in here, or maybe I'll just throw one over the top just to hold this in place for now. Uh, top isn't going to do anything. I'll have to throw it underneath. Anyways, um, so now I can make the uh, story pole and transfer all of these holes all the way down to here. And what I'll do, I'll just let the air out of the bags and these brackets will just drop out of the way. So that gives me a nice clear shot. Um, so then uh, I can just make a story pull, mark all the lines, drill them and put, uh, <laughs> just bolt all this stuff back up and Bob's your uncle, that's it. Uh, obviously I might have to shorten these air lines, but I don't even have to disconnect any of this stuff. I'm just gonna leave it all right exactly how it is. I'll just shorten these long ones um, wherever they go to, I'll find the end, cut it off, put a new collar on it, and uh, restrap them back up to the frame, and that's it. So hopefully this little space right here will be enough, be enough uh, for the hoist, the, uh, the truck frame. Uh, let me see where's my mark at. I think the end of the, end of the truck bed is. Where'd the bee go? I had a scratch in here. Stay away. There's the mark right there. That's that's the end of the frame. So we're gonna take another oh six feet or so off and uh let me get back here a little ways. So there's the there's the overall wheelbase of it. Much shorter, probably be a whole lot easier to drive. Um, and definitely doesn't look quite as goofy anymore. And then the 14 foot bed will just uh, drop right back on there. Same bed, the axle's gonna be a little further back from the factory. Originally, if I were gonna keep the same wheelbase as the original truck, that sucker would be up another two feet, two and a half feet maybe. So not quite keeping with the proportions of the original truck, but that's okay. Um, that gives me room here for the hoist, uh, room there for the hoist. Hopefully it'll drop down inside there. And then, uh, that keeps some clearance between the gas, gas tank and the wheels. So, I mean, I could bring that up another, you know, I could bring that up to match the old truck, but then I'd actually have to, um, pay somebody to shorten this drive shaft and, um, kind of don't want to cause I'm lazy. Anyways, that's where we're at.